Meteorologist Sam Coplin here and what has been a terrific start to the weekend and now the last day of the weekend today will be a terrific finish. We had a cool morning though to start 48 degrees which are low in Harpersfield. A couple spots including Harpersfield and the Catskills and some spots in the Adirondacks did drop down to the 40s and even in Albany 57 degrees was the coolest temperature in over a month. So hard to call it cool in July but a lot more comfortable air mass than what we've been experiencing with all the humidity and often on showers feeling very muggy for much of this month. But Fortunately, the humid air is lurking not too far away. You see the dew points in the 60s compared to the 50s up in our area. Well, those 60s will start to surge off towards the north and east. But today we are still going to be super comfortable. Maybe humidity is up just a touch compared to yesterday. But again, still a very pleasant day outside. So this afternoon, 530, I'm stopping it around here because there can be a few very tiny chance, but a few pop up showers are possible, mainly in the highest terrain. Again, most of the area is completely dry today with just a lot of sunshine overnight tonight. It is another comfortable night, probably not as cool as this past evening, but still temperatures dropping down to around 60 to 65 degrees. Then for the day tomorrow, as the humidity starts to surge, that will bring back the chance of a few afternoon showers and storms. This this simulation shows the coverage a little bit too widespread. I don't think it's going to be this much, but the idea is that any time in the afternoon, there can be a few passing showers crossing the area between, say, 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock, and then those should fizzle out during the day tomorrow. But for the day today, terrific day to head up to the track. Temperature going up to around 84 degrees, mostly sunny and pleasant. And if you're not heading up to the track, you also have the county fair. So Saratoga is the place to be on a day like today. And in fact, anywhere is a great place to be when you have temperatures going up to 82 to 87 degrees with low humidity, relatively low humidity, comfortable air mass in place, and just a spotty chance of an elevation storm. We also have the last game of the series at the Joe. They lost last night. Hopefully they have better fortunes today. Temperatures dropping for that game into the upper 70s and what will be another great baseball night at the Joe tonight. 60 to 65 degrees across the area, mostly to partly clear. Watch out for a little bit of patchy fog developing late, but then we surge back up tomorrow and the humidity is also going to be rising. Temperatures going up to around the mid 80s, and I know it's depicted each hour a passing thunderstorm, but it's more so just hit or miss activity that is possible at any time, but it's not going to be going on all afternoon long. Now, what is going to be occurring later on in the week is a heat and humidity that's going to be much more widespread. Temperatures today, high temperatures. Once again, it's been the same story over and over in places like Las Vegas and Phoenix with numbers over 110. Well, watch out later on in the week. This is a ridge that is over the southwest. It's going to really be expanding and flattening out, which is going to open up the floodgates for some of these hot temperatures to surge up towards the northeast. And check out the high temperatures come Wednesday across the country. The hundreds expand eastward. We're not going to be getting up to 100 around here. Here, but definitely 90 is attainable whether you're in Albany, whether you're in Charlotte, Savannah, it's going to be surging across the entire country. And you can see that right here in our seven day forecast that after we see that shower chance, that slim one in the afternoon, Monday and Tuesday, the big story will be the heat Monday. I mean, I should say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday numbers over 90 degrees. Does look like a cold front will pass through during the Friday to Saturday time frame. So that does look like it will knock down temperatures by Saturday and especially by Sunday. Thanks for tuning in.